Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Beer the Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by Jakob the Lordable. And today, we're going to be looking at one of the new releases from Amal Boykus that they brought for Copenhagen Beer Celebration. It just appeared here locally, so we picked up a, few, a couple of bottles to yeah. review. And this is the Amal Boykus No Rice and Curry India Pale Lager. Now, hopped up lagers and India Pale Lagers were pretty popular. Uh, it's a thing that's becoming a little bit more popular, which I dig. I, the ones I've had have been really nice. I think the first one I had was in San Diego at Ballast Point. I'm not entirely sure, but this was one of the beers that we kept coming back to at the CBC. Yeah. It was great for when you were a little hungover or when you just needed a quick refreshment. Refreshing, yeah, uh, refreshment. When it was on, and I think it was on like two or three times, something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but I remember just having it a few times. It's a it's a it's a lager on five percent, hop with Amarillo and Citra, so and Cascade. Really, and Cascade, sorry, yeah, some really nice hops. And uh, yeah, that's basically basically it. it. It has a really funny story on the back here in Danish that talks about how the India Pale Lager style was born about a boy from Drauer in Copenhagen who, who was sick of his mother's curry, curry dish. dish and it's just a stupid dumb story. It's really funny though, and it's, it's like spoof spoof yeah, it's spoofing the whole <laughs> IPA story about going to India and all that stuff. So that's it's pretty cool. So yeah. Uh, Let's dig into this one. Yes. So we got the no rice and curry poured, and that is really hazy. Yeah. Uh, I think it's because the bottles are shaken up a bit, but yeah, it looks like an IPA almost. Yeah. It's got that. Well, maybe more like a wit beer actually. It's got that bright uh, orange kind of color with with a white head. Oh yeah, it's sugar, but right. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, but because when we had it in the festival, it was a little more clear, but still looks really nice. Yeah. So yeah, let's take out the aroma on this. Oh, that smells so refreshing. Mm. Just Citra and Amarillo abundance. Yeah. I mean, there's so much Citra and Amarillo on the aroma. Tropical fruits. Tropical, yeah. Yep. Sweet citrus <laughs> fruits, orange, tangerine notes, passion fruit notes mm. in there. A lot of passion Little pineapple fruit. and peach. Yeah, a lot of, lot of passion fruit for sure and pineapple mm. too. Maybe like a sweet mango. Wow. My teeth and are watering up. <laughs> and it has that... Oh, it's been a while since we've had a hoffy beer. Yeah, it's really fresh. Yeah, definitely. Super fresh, juicy. I mean, it smells like a really nice hoppy lager. In your yeah. lager. You want to give it a taste? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Fuck me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really love that it had, has this... Crisp oh. and clean, yeah, refreshing lager feel. Yeah, but then you just get the abundance of crazy hop flavors that you get in Tropical IPAs. Fruit and boom, boom. and five percent. <laughs> Talk about a session beer, man. Oh yeah, this is like uh. amazing. <laughs> wow. And there's no rice and curry in here at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it's the mouthfeel on it is lighter side of medium. Yeah. Not super carbonated, no. uh, but it's it actually suits it well. Yeah, it's it's quite nice. Uh, slightly dry because of the hops in there, but not the driest of mouthfeels. No, but it's just all these juicy hops, and also mm. pretty <laughs> solid bitterness for a lager too. Oh yeah, but uh, it's not over over no. bitter. It, it has the post malt flavor, but that's just a little up front. It's just hops, 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 hops. Yeah. Passion fruit and pineapple is really what shines <laughs> through in this one. Like tons a of a lot of like passion fresh, fruit. Yeah, wow. And Pineapple, did you say pineapple? Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it, I forget. <laughs> and uh, then sweet citrus fruits, probably from the Amarillo grapefruit as well. Oranges, um, a little bit of sweet mango. And it's like a tropical fruit punch. It's yeah. almost like if you took a proper Pilsner or lager and then you just pour juice in it and, and then hops, put hops in there. Like did a randalized version or something like that. It's randalized version of a rattler. <laughs> Uh, well, I <laughs> don't know if you'd say that, but wow, this is t and it's so refreshing. Uh, no offense to the beer at all. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's just going down so easily, so refreshing. It yeah. does have a little bit of a uh, a spicy kind of note, almost like a uh, like a noble hop like flavor. I think. Oh yeah. But there's no. Noble there's only America, American yeah. American hops in here. American. But American. But it's really nice, really like as you said, the pineapple, a lot of Refreshing. tropical fruit notes, yeah. grapefruit. I mean, it's in that sense, it's it's fairly simple, but yeah. it's got everything I want in a hobby beer: the tropical yeah. fruit, the juiciness, the sweet citrus fruits. It's yeah. really nice. And this 
and and it's sweet and juicy, not yeah. just really bitter. But it, it's also a very simple recipe, so I guess they have... I mean, it's just Pilsner malt, Amarillo, Citra and Cascade. I don't know if they... I don't get... Yeah, well, well, I guess they use a lot of hops skin in here. <laughs> yeah, well, it must have a lot of hops because it's super hoppy and juicy. So, I mean, as for a session beer, this is great. Uh, Rating-wise, I'm, I'm actually going to go 92 on this one. I love this beer. <laughs> I think it's phenomenal. It's so refreshing, so juicy. It's all. It's one of the, my my favorite India Pale Lagers of the few I've had. Mm. I think it's really nice. Yeah, well, I just uh, I just thought straight up 90, but uh, yeah, I'm going to stay with that. As I just, 90. Really refreshing, nice beer. So yeah, guys, that does it for the beer review of the new... I think this was actually my favorite Ama beer at the festival, I think. Yeah, they had some dodgy beers as well. Yeah, like the, the sours. The sours were really Yeah, I wasn't too keen on the sours, but this was freaking dead on this great stuff so yeah guys definitely let us know what you think of the Amapokus no rice and curry India pale lager if you've had it for me the whole crazy hoppy thing with the lagers works mm. really well so yeah guys as always remember to comment subscribe check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and we're gonna say cheers, cheers. we're gonna see you guys in another beer review